Hello everybody, so first I have to say thank you so much for all the participants of my auction. It was a total and complete success. I appreciate each and every one of you. We had so much fun and we sold some crazy things, even the vase that was holding the flowers. Um, we had a few really special pieces and I got to sell this beautiful vase. I was really excited. Oh, we sold um, limited edition art prints signed and numbered with a certificate of authenticity. And if you missed out on it, you can go to heathermaderart.com. I got my website completely up and running, so my shop is up and everything, so I'm pretty proud of it, you guys. If you want to check it out, I would love that. heathermaderart.com So getting right into the pour for today. The painting today was interesting. I worked with black in my cup. It's something that I don't do very often. I just find that it muddies the colors and um, especially if you're doing a dirty pour. Now if you're doing a ring pour and you're layering the black in the cup, then you'll get those individual black lines. But I was planning on doing a dirty pour and wanted to see what would happen. Um, you can see most of the colors that I used were custom mixed. So you'll see you know, the wine colors, the Merlot, um, and the Burgundy, uh, those actually most of them, except for the black and the gold, and the um, uh, manganese were basically handmade. And when I hand make my colors, I'll use all kinds of things. I'll use pigments to adjust the tint, high flow. Sometimes I'll use, um, fluid acrylics, so I might use a combination of um, regular paints and fluids. I just, this is actually, I think this is an 18 by 24, and this is a straight dirty pour from high up. Now you're going to watch, I'm really far off the canvas right here, and the force of the paint, um, is really strong so I'm expecting a lot of gold cells to pop through the whole thing now you can see even though I think I put black in the cup twice and I didn't put very much you can see it's almost completely overtaking the colors and that was my fear when I used it so just know that when you use black paint you're gonna get a lot of black. It's gonna tinge every single color that you're using and it's going to occasionally overtake any of the lighter colors um, and enhance the the other colors. So this is a 24 karat gold ring. Uh, I've been using deco art and I do love it. Um, <clears throat> and so now I'm not only wanting to get some gold cells but um, that ex layer, that ring around the pore that I put, that's going to also create some gold cells. And I did this painting a while ago. Y'all, I haven't had any time to paint since this auction. Prepping for the auction, getting my website up and running completely, um, has had completely taken my time. And so this is a painting I did a while back. But <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I find the business part of art um, keeps me from being able to have time to be creative sometimes. And it's hard because I love doing this and I want to be able to keep doing it. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I tried to turn this into a business. And I'm also just a businesswoman. It's just something, as my partner <laughs> would say, he says I'm a moster. I think that means that I always try to do the most with whatever I do. And um, <clears throat> he's probably right. It's it's a sickness. I, I can't. What do I? Do? What can I say? It's just it's part of my personality. You know, my whole family is kind of like that. So I think I come by it naturally for sure. But 
one thing I wanted to say was <clears throat> this painting um, you, you see I put that second little cup uh, pour on top of the other one and the reason I did that was because look at how dark and murky that black made all the colors so I really wanted to try to pop something through that's one of the reasons why I put that base layer, that watermelon red kind of base layer, and then I also put that second pour on top because I already knew that if I didn't, I was just going to end up with a black painting um, as the black continued to eat all of the other colors that I had put in there. So I really did not know what to think at this point. <clears throat> you know me, I'll always keep going and I'm not going to just stop um, because I don't like to waste paint for one thing. And number two, it's just a challenge. I just want to see if I can do something special with the piece, even if I'm not sure in the beginning if it's going to work out. Um, this was the last bit of Floetrol that I had that worked and that's another reason I've had trouble painting lately is the Floetrol I got um, was thick I'm sorry was thin and chunky and I called the Floetrol people and they said it had probably been frozen um, on the truck or in too high of a heat so, just a word to the wise, store your flow trial properly because otherwise it's really difficult to work with. Um, I find that it w even after I had shaken it and done all the things I was supposed to do, it was almost impossible to work with. So, And this was the last batch I had on this painting of the normal, thick, sort of creamy flow trawl. So I'm kind of in a, I don't know, I'm in a funk. I don't have my flow trawl that I need, that I really enjoy the consistency of working with. So some of my formulas are not working out right now. And I've just been packaging, packaging, packaging. And varnishing, signing. <laughs> I know I'm talking about my personal life right now instead of this painting, but honestly, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. This painting though, it did turn out beautiful, I have to say. And one thing I really love about this painting is the gold popping through the red up there at the top. Really pretty. And then, you know, red and blue make purple, so throughout this piece you get little pops of purple um, wherever the black hasn't overtaken it. And you get the blue coming through. And now I can start to see after the swipe what I want to do with this painting. I did a painting called um, From Clouds to Flowers and it was one of my most popular paintings I've ever done. And then I decided on this one I'm going to try and see if I can get that same effect which was a ring of flowers basically. Pulling the two elements together. So I put some satin enamel white down and then some gold, both in a squeeze bottle. I just keep those mixed up because I use so much of it. And then I broke out my balloon and I'm not trying to get big flowers here you guys. I'm trying to get really small, delicate, flowers that almost connect with each other. So you can see that my ring, um, I'm sorry, that my rolls are 
not necessarily just individual. See how I'm rolling them together? I'm trying to get the flowers to have a feel like they're joined, like in a wreath or something. Um, have you ever been to Hawaii and they give you a lei? <laughs> kind of made me think about that. The way that the flowers are connected together through the stamen. So I just keep working on that part of it. And I want to bring some of the flowers down a little bit to draw the eye down into the swipe colors. So that's what I'm doing at this point. I'm just using my balloon very lightly to pull the paint down into the swipe colors and create just a little bit of more of movement um, down into there. I don't want them to look separate, so I'm trying to figure out a way to make them look um, as if they belong. Now watch, when I turn it, you can really see what I'm talking about. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> now this is the high flow gold. And I've done this to a few other paintings on my flowers. I just love the way it, it offers like an end point for the flower. Um, or a beginning, however you want to put it. Because my flowers don't have stems, it kind of gives something there. And if you've ever pulled like a whole um, bud, a flower bud off of the stem, there is kind of a hard piece right down there that connects it to the stem. And so that's kind of what I'm thinking of when I'm incorporating this in. Now I might get some little dendrites because as you know, the high flow gold tends to uh, dendrite or fractal if it's put on wet paint. So it's very possible that in the end I will get some little fractals, but I'm okay with that. I think that will be pretty if that happens. And so I just decide to go ahead and add kind of like a finishing touch to these flowers. And I just work it with a toothpick um, sorry, this is not a toothpick, it is a popsicle stick. And I'm just drawing the lines up through the flowers and down a little bit just to make it look incorporated as part of the flower and not an afterthought. So that's really what I'm doing here. So you guys, um, I have to tell you <laughs> that I, I was blown away by the support at my auction. Um, so many people were there. So many amazing artists were there. I had friends like Elise Fournier and Mina was a moderator and Gail and a great, you know, friend Christine of mine who I'd known forever. Um, but then, you know, some of the other artists that I really respect and admire showed up too. Uh, Miriam of Miriam's Nature and Sarah Mack and Canella. Um, it was really amazing to see so much support. Christina Welch showed up and um, and if I missed anybody, I'm so sorry. You know, it's it's really distracting to try to watch the feed while I'm talking about my art, so I really missed a lot. But there is a video if you wanna go back and check it out. I'm actually amazed at how many people have went back and watched the auction video. <laughs> I couldn't believe that people would do that, but yeah, people have been back and watched the video, so I decided to leave it up. Um, but at one point I get all emotional and choked up <laughs> over the, I, I guess just the support. It was just amazing. And, you know, when we do things that we love, um, we're just doing them because we love them. And yes, I have turned this into a business, but if I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. Trust me. And 
So to have that kind of support and love and um, I, I just can't tell you how valuable and amazing it is and how much it means. Um, it just makes me want to keep going and keep making more art videos for you guys and just keep striving and pushing myself as an artist to be better and to be more and to keep going so you know, it's good for it's good for all of us to always strive a little bit water is meant to flow and we are made of water you know still waters become stagnant and that's just something to live by right there and if you're ever feeling stagnant in your life that means that some change needs to occur and so I often think about that in my life when I'm feeling you know like things are not moving forward in some way what is it that needs to change and what is it that I need to do to shift things for myself and I think this is true in our art as well you know most of us want to continue to grow and look at isn't that pretty the painting really turned out special and it dried really gorgeously as well this is me just sitting and looking at it and thinking is there anything else that I need to do even one thing nope Pop a few little bubbles with my torch and then that's it. And this is the gorgeous results. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I appreciate it, all of you, each and every one of you. Um, please support my channel. Uh, there is a link to my PayPal in my description box. And as always, I really, really appreciate it. Look at that little flower. It did form a few little dendrites down there, and I think it's actually quite cute. That's my favorite flower. And this is dried. These are the dried results. Please visit my website, Heather Mater Art. Leave some comments, and you can tell me what you think of everything, the shop and my portfolio. And as always, I can't wait to make more art videos for you. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can make more art videos for you.